Tonight on Big Brother, it's game on. I don't want to apologise. <sighs> it's the match of the season. The girls are just going to go nuts. It's going to be hectic. I love it. And the injuries are severe. It's just so hard. Yesterday, Camilla and Anna made a shock return to the house, and not everyone is happy they're back. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Got to have a bit of a problem with Anna. I'm just not happy with her. So yeah, a bit, bit intense, isn't it? Oh, it wasn't a birthday present I was expecting. No. And of course, you know, it's between her and Crystal, really. Yeah, there's a bit of a gift there, isn't there? Yeah, and um, Tilly. Yeah, that's a bit rough, I know. Anna and Camilla's return is also on Claire's mind. Um, I think my biggest shock after last night and waking up this morning is how Karen reacted. She got really funny last night having Anna back and I think Karen looks at Anna as a real threat to Crystal. I think she already realises that Crystal has a far better chance than what she does of winning this game. I don't know, last night, like... Anna especially, she's, she becomes really loud and yells over the top of everyone. Oh. And I just went, well, maybe it's not that it's just two people. Maybe it is her in particular. Yeah, yeah, know. yeah. I know what you're saying. I'm sort of not going to let her try and talk me into taking sides, so to speak. I'm going to befriend whoever I want in the house and I'm certainly not going to be a little sheep and follow Crystal and Tilly around, so it's just sort of... The three of us just so we all stick together on a sign. So even if we do find the peace with Anna and Camilla back in the house, there's going to be something to cause a twist and to cause a stir amongst us all. Can't look at each other. I can't look at each other. Since Anna and Camilla's return, the girls have split into two factions. Anna is on one side and Crystal and Tilly on the other, much to the amusement of the boys. Oh, mate. It's funny. How funny is it? I love it. Yeah. I love it. I just hope I, I survive this week so I, um, I can stay for next week, man. Because it's going to be hectic. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be crazy. The girls are just going to go nuts. Because now there's two clans. Yeah. And they, they're actually there's um, Camilla and Anna on one side, yeah. Crystal and Tilly on the other, yeah. and in the middle is... Uh, oh, Katie's probably on, the, on their side. But she's also close with the other two. Yeah. I was just talking about the new um, World War Three that's happening in Big World Brother War III, Six. Between the oh, yeah. clans, between the girls. BB the... Six with WW Three. Is it within the girls or? It's between oh, the girls. Look in the eyes. Oh, I told you about my latest combo with Michael. In a house divided, Crystal and Tilly work out a strategy to keep their allies close. Keep him on your side. Yeah, definitely. I will. Yeah, you know you have to. Yeah. And he knows. He knows he needs us as well. He needs us just as much as we need Yeah, him. exactly. What's Anna doing? Why is she cleaning? She's not allowed to clean. Oh, she's waiting again. Whatever. Oh, build up more fines. Do it. I don't care. <laughs> because everyone will hate you. Last night, Jamie and Katie kissed in the spa, and Jamie seeks advice on what to do about it. So you're on Katie, eh? What do you reckon? Probably. I reckon as well. You reckon put? Hook up. More. May as well. She's top chick. What was that? She, you may as well. She's a top chick. Yeah. Katie also asks for advice about Jamie from Anna. I can't believe I got with Jamie. It's weird. Oh my God, did you see you two before you even kissed? Uh, he had you in his arms and you're going, hmm. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. like, come on. No I wonder how it's going to be today, though. You were kissing I have last no idea. Night. You never know, hey. You were kissing, I know. You were kissing last night when you went to bed, weren't you? Yeah. Seems like you're falling for her. What's that? It seems like you're falling for her. 
I just want to marry you. Ah, oh, yeah. He looks like the marrying type. <laughs> These Those ones. And Those ones. Three ones. I reckon, yeah, we should do this. Is that, is that you? <laughs> Michael is Big Brother's insider, and this week he has to sabotage the weekly task. Wait, where's all the rules? Ah, oh, crikey. The mate has pretty vital. Yeah. No, do that last. Pretty vital. Drink. Yay! Let's go. Hey! Cloud Michael. Big Brother wants you to perform the Big Splash Relay. Starting now. Go, 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 go! The clown skill Michael must perform requires housemates to belly flop into the jelly. Any other action is forbidden. Oh. No, you gotta do it on your front. You gotta belly flop it. You gotta belly. Oh. oh twist. Nice. Twist. Me twist. One and a half pipe. Oh. Oh. Amazing. Amazing. He's Funny. drenched. Get on the. Uh, do you have to get on the eye? Oh, no. That's you. That is all. Yeah. Yeah. Look, you've got one item in each. Coming up, the showdown begins. And I've been telling people that I'd like to get to know real you because I've only ever known the fake you. To evict Claire, SMS Claire to 199 evict. To save Claire, SMS Claire to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555574 and follow the prompts. To evict Michael, SMS Michael to 199 evict. To save Michael, SMS Michael to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555564 and follow the prompts. Legion Interactive phone and SMS votes cost 55 cents maximum. 190 calls from mobiles higher. Phone and SMS voting lines close at 7.45pm Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday the 7th of May. For terms and conditions, visit bigbrother.3mobile.com.au. any problems with anyone but I'm just like I, I just honestly I'm just not on Anna's wavelength. Like, Crystal has been up front about her dislike for Anna from the beginning and her feelings haven't changed since Anna's return. I think you and I will find that we've probably got more in common. Yeah I do have more in common with you. As we a little bit more. Yeah now that I can be myself <laughs> but um yeah I just I don't have as much in common with her but like I think maybe I just haven't given her a go enough like I think over time, maybe I'll find that I do. I really and respect that you take that approach. Yeah. Definitely. Well, I'm more disheartened than that, because mine was the opposite. <laughs> I, actually, like, no. I actually liked her to start with, and then over time, <clears throat> changed my mind. So, kind of like it's all downhill from here. <laughs> and then that's harder. Mm. It is when you, when you let down because your expectations are yeah. higher or whatever. Exactly. Does she do that? No, no. Yeah. She must have. Very difficult when she's overhearing what? stuff that people are saying. It seems bitchy. You know what I mean? Yeah, I overheard her say, you know, a few really nasty things, things, things when she came back yeah. in too. Like it's on. It, the re revenge is on now. She's saying it's yeah. all about revenge and all this, and I'm saying, I just said to you, I'm going to get to know her. I didn't even know she was standing around the corner. Yeah, and so I haven't said anything, so, yeah. so I'd prefer not to yeah. get involved yeah. altogether. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, it's up to each individual, I would say, to talk to the other and maybe come I'm to coming. some kind of middle ground. Oh. Mm. OK, who would like to do first contribu contribution? OK, I don't know if this refers to me and my issues with Anna. Each week, the housemates have a family dinner to discuss any issues. Tonight, the divide amongst the girls is high on the agenda. I wasn't impressed with Anna with um, her being um, very spiteful over the, um, the oats issue. And um, when you got evicted, and spitefulness came into it then. You don't think that's true? <laughs> First off, I'd like to say 
bitching behind my back, Crystal. I heard you guys when I was in the bedroom today, so you do. And you guys haven't come up to me once since I have come back in the house to tell me your opinions. You haven't tried to sort anything out. You've just let it go. And why don't you talk about Camilla like that as well? Because she's done exactly the same as me. So whatever with that one. I haven't heard Camilla say that it's anything. on. This is revenge. It's on. That's the thing that we were in the revenge room, Karen. No, when you got back. You were, she heard we were in a revenge room. That's the whole thing about it. It was revenge. Can I just ask something to Camilla? Katie's got the thing. What did I say when, when Anna was in the room? What did I say? I said I'd like to get to know her. And, I did. and I've been telling people that I'd like to get to know real you because I've only ever known the fake you. Yeah. We all just probably should communicate a little bit more. It's really difficult when you find things out sometimes in a roundabout or a backward way, but I just think we should all be as open as possible with each other. Yeah? Uh, sometimes it is healthy to not to bitch about people, but to talk about, like, discuss what you think of another person with, with, with someone else. But I don't think it's healthy for you to smear their name or influence your opinion of, some, of someone onto someone else. So... All three of you really need to... And I encourage you guys... Can I have a talk? Whatever. To... It's Katie's turn. Sorry. I, I like everyone, and I hope they don't bitch about me. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Anna takes on the family. Some things you say are nasty and you... Everyone says nasty stuff, Karen. To evict Dino, SMS Dino to 199 evict. To save Dino, SMS Dino to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555 and follow the prompts. To evict Elise, SMS Elise to 199 evict. To save Elise, SMS Elise to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555 and follow the prompts. To evict Tilly, SMS Tilly to 199 evict. To save Tilly, SMS Tilly to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555 and follow the prompts. The housemates have just finished the weekly family dinner, but Anna, Karen and Crystal still have some issues they need to discuss. I've got a different issues with you. Like, I want to get to know the real you, basically, because the past week, from the start, I have to say, I was like, I'm not sure about Crystal, she seems fake to me, and I did pick it, you were being fake. I didn't like that person, but I want to get to know the real you. This is, I don't know if you'll take this the wrong way, but I haven't, like really dealt with anyone quite like you on the outside world. Um, my issue is that I took you under my wing, really liked you, and then you said some things that have really upset me that I don't like. From what you said, it was like, um, you're not going to let it go, that, you know, it's revenge and... It sounded very vindictive and... Yeah. Yeah, just... And if I could somehow make you just look at those things that you say about well, people... I'd... I'm not going to change anything that I've said and I don't regret anything I've said because you shouldn't judge me for what I've said. Yeah. Some things you say are nasty and you... Everyone says nasty stuff, Karen. I've been happy the past couple of days. I have been happy. Okay. I came in here and there was heaps of guys in here that were just like, oh, we regretted you going and everything. That put me in a good mood. I was like, cool. I don't care about these two people then. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think right. we got that sorted then. And Crystal, that wasn't directed at you then. I do want to get to know the real you. Okay, but... <laughs> and I know she's your mum and stuff, but... I know, but the thing is, Anna, she really did take you under her wing and she gave you a go and it's... And the funny thing is, we worked in opposites. I said to her, I don't like Anna. She said, I do like Anna. And that's what hurt the most. Was I because I did like her. Because, but do you know, my mum, she likes everyone and you have to do something wrong to prove... To prove to make her change her mind and I don't know maybe it's where we live but we have a lot of respect for people and courtesy and it's it's just oh, Crystal I do have respect and courtesy for everyone on the outside world well I'm sorry that you can't change my mum's mind but um maybe you can redeem I don't yourself. want to change myself I don't I'm not going to redeem myself to your mum no I'm saying not didn't say I didn't you just bring words in my mouth I didn't say that so I'm just saying that I'm sorry that, you, that that's not going to happen. But, um, yeah, I know that we have to live in this house, so I hope that we can go about it in a civilised manner. And I know that. Yeah. And I've that's been fine today. I've been fine. Yeah. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. Huh? I've never had a cold flu in my life. I did. 
Issues? No, I was just about to say that to you. Yeah. Um, I did put you in the same boat with Karen and Crystal. Crystal. Yeah. Even last night after you did talk to me. Yeah. But I'm taking you out of that boat and putting you on my little sailing. I'd boat. love you to do that. All right. Thanks, Dom. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Sorry, I put you in the boat without talking to you. No, no, it's, no, that's okay. I could see, I could see, I could see why. And I said this to Camilla that coming out of that, I think I did um, speak too harshly on both of your accounts, and um, and I do regret saying some of the stuff that I did. As I said to Jamie, you just got to live life with no exactly. regrets in the past. Beautiful. Yeah. Thanks, darling. Oh, Galen. <laughs> One down, two to go. <laughs> I'm out of the sin bin with Anna. Oh, good. Did you just get rid of yourself? Oh, no, she's like, oh, I must admit today, I did put you in the same bin as um, Crystal and um, Karen, but I'm, I've, after today, I'm willing to take you out of that because um, I'd really like to get to know you, so I'm just like, awesome. She's that to me, too. After her fight with Karen and Crystal, an emotional Anna retreats to the diary room. Anna? I know I shouldn't let it get to me that much, but it's just one person's opinion and I really don't care. I just got so worked up and I'm just so angry and... Who are you angry with? Karen. Crystal, but not as much, I don't really care. And I know I've got at least two weeks and up to 12 weeks with them. It's just so hard. What's so hard? This, feeling like this. You don't have any issues with me? No, I just have an issue with the girls. Okay. It's oh, not with the girls, I just have an issue with girls. Being that us boys, we don't all get along. No. But we don't, boys in general, we don't, you know, have divides and subgroups and whatever. We all, yeah. we can all sit, stick together and I yeah. think it's a shame to see that the girls can't, can't do that. Felt sorry for Anna coming back and f copying it. But you know that she did bring things upon herself as well. And I said that, I, I said, I don't, I'm not going to apologise. I wasn't. Yeah. And the other thing, I reckon she feels like she's been cornered, so any, any tiny little attack, she'll, she'll bite back at really hard. But I must say, after what she said to me just before, one-on-one -on -one in the bedroom, I am all for her, whether you two agree with that or not, but um, I am... I don't want think to any, I'm, become her... I don't think the point is being for or against anyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's not about being yeah. for or against anyone, right or wrong. Neither. No, no, it's no. It's just no. Like, making sure that, I mean... If, if you, even if you don't like someone, you still want them yeah. to be happy, oh, especially yeah. if you're going to see them every day. Yeah. And I just tried to do that with her, though, and now she's just like... Yeah. She didn't want to do it with she's her. Putting she's putting up... No, wait. She's really defensive She's putting right up now. her defences now, yeah. so... Yeah. Yeah. It's just so stressful to have yeah. these people just sit there and just treat me like dirt. They're both sitting there together, mum and daughter. I'm going to gang up with you right now, and I'm going to tell you what you've done wrong in. <laughs> That's their problem though, that's an insecurity on someone else's. Yeah, absolutely. Don't absolutely. let it get to you. Let, I let don't let it get to me. I'm just like, I, I'm the stronger person, but I don't do anything back. And tonight, I just shouldn't have fought back, but no, I did. No, you, I thought that was good. You were strong. <laughs> yeah, no, good work. I, don't, I think you should do got definitely to take it in your stride though, because the only reason someone deems necessary to maybe gang up on someone is to bring someone down. So they look at you as a high person. Right? Um, Australia's national pastime is tall puppy syndrome. Coming up, will Katie and Jamie take the plunge? The last thing you would ever want in your life is to say, I wish I. To evict Claire, SMS Claire to 199 evict. To save Claire, SMS Claire to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555574 and follow the prompts. To evict Michael, SMS Michael to 199 evict. To save Michael, SMS Michael to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555564 and follow the prompts.
like, oh, maybe I should change beds. Really? Yeah, so I don't, because I don't want to like him. I thought, maybe what's I should change beds. What's wrong with liking him? What's wrong with Oh, because he doesn't like, like you? I don't think he likes me like that. But how do you know he doesn't? Um, just, you can tell, you know. And like, I thought maybe, maybe I, like, he did. Katie is concerned her feelings for Jamie aren't reciprocated and seeks advice from David and Tilly. I, I can tell that he just adores you. Yeah. Not anymore. Trust me. I can feel it. I can feel it. Yeah, but often, often a guy's going to send out messages and cl claim himself off. As a defence mechanism? Just go... No, I can I read him really lo a lot, though. Like, I can see. Mm. Like, even when he's thinking, I'm like, what are you thinking right now? Because I know it's intense. How do you know that? And I was like, yeah, so... Because he's, yeah. Man, if you feel something, make it happen. Oh, One thing that I learned, I learned in my life, if I feel it's something so... for someone, I just, boom, make it happen. Really? It takes, it just takes one conversation. Mm, that's, it takes that's one shocking. person, one person to start it. And don't, seriously, the last thing you would ever want in your life is to say, I wish I. And it's got to come in a point, point in your life where you say, I'm not going to regret this move. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to choke myself. The housemates are getting ready to go to sleep and Katie finally plucks up the courage to speak with Jamie about where their relationship stands. Everyone will think we're kissing. Mm. You're all so cute. <laughs> oh, I'm so confused, Jamie. What, by me? Yeah. Why? Because you don't talk to me all day, then you do this. It's weird. It's weird. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> nah, Jake. <Jay. laughs> no. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Hi, Katie. Oh. Hi, Jamie. You can tell me. I'm going to tell you what. I don't know. I need to know something. <laughs> Just tell me what's going on to the neck. It's not. Okay, it's everything. not completely my decision, though, is it? I'll go with whatever you do. <laughs> I'll go with whatever you do. So, have you reached a verdict? My verdict. Tomorrow on Big Brother, love is in the air. To a big Dino, SMS Dino to 199 Evict. To save Dino, SMS Dino to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555 and follow the prompts. To a Victor Elise, SMS Elise to 199 Evict. To save Elise, SMS Elise to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555 and follow the prompts. To a Vic Tilly, SMS Tilly to 199 Evict. To save Tilly, SMS Tilly to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555 and follow the prompts. If you'd like the chance to win $1,000 a day, watch Big Brother, get your KFC Twister Toasted and enter online via SMS. Entries open 8th of May. Lex. Lex Luthor. He's rich, powerful and soon to be Superman's mortal enemy. There's a darkness in me that I can't always control. We all have a dark side, Lex. Yeah. New Smallville starts now. Program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.